If you clicked on this video, it's because you want to create content, you want to produce videos, whether it's on social media, YouTube, or you want to even create online courses, but you have zero clue about what you're going to do, what you're going to say, and how you're going to deliver your thoughts and ideas once you click on record. This video is just for you, and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step process that I've developed and how I no longer get stuck in not knowing what I'm going to say. Let's begin. What you're looking at right now is exactly the software that I use to help me organize my thoughts and ideas for every single video, for every single topic of an online course in a way that is easier for me to just literally click record and I know exactly what I'm gonna say, I know exactly what it's about, I have my, my outline for the video. Let me go ahead and show you. So this is called ScreenPal and this was formerly known as Screencast-O-Matic. I'm going to go ahead and click on where it says right here, where it says story to the right hand side. And when I click on this, it says, how do you want to start your story? We're going to go ahead and create a storyboard. And if you notice here, it says script, start with a script, then record your video with scripts, script prompts for easy step by step recording. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, the storyboard, which is create your storyboard, adding segments of video or images for visual view of your project. Let's say for the sake of this example, we're going to start creating an online course and our online course is going to be about how to publish a book on Amazon. And now we're going to go ahead and it says blank storyboard, which means that you're starting from scratch. Then you have from project manager. That means that if you already have videos that you have already created on ScreenPal, you can just go ahead and upload it from your project manager and then start with that and you build on that. Or you can, let's say you have a Microsoft Word document and you have created an outline of your videos or video on Microsoft Word, um, then you could use that document and upload it here. But now I'm, we're gonna start, we're gonna choose on blank storyboard. We're gonna select that. Okay, and what we see here, you're gonna be able to develop different sections. Here on the first one to the left hand side, you can create a script that tells you exactly what you're going to say on each video. So this first section will represent the first video you're going to create. So let's say in the script, you're going to say, welcome to how you can create a, a, an ebook for Amazon KDP. It means that on this video, that's exactly what you're going to say. So when you hit record, you're going to be able to just say what's on the script, right? And you can even add additional notes if you want to, for example, notes uh, how to create, uh, let's say, planners and, and low content books. Okay, so on the notes, um, I know that what I'm going to say next is I'm going to talk about how to create planners and content books. So it makes it easier to know exactly what you're going to say on the specific video. Now I'm going to click on pl the, the plus sign where it says plus and section. You can create a script where you're going to know exactly what you're going to record on this section. You can even add bullet points. Let's say I'm going to say in this lesson, you will learn how to use Canva to create a and to design the interior pages for your ebook or book. So now you know that when you click record on this section, you know exactly that you're going to say this. Hi guys, in this lesson, you will learn how to use Canva to design the interior pages of your book. Let's begin. And then we can go ahead and add that. We can click on enter. Let's begin. The first thing you're going to do is open, create a design on Canva with customized, I guess, a customized, with customized dimensions the dimensions will be 
five by eight. Okay, so now I'm adding more to the script. And I did this so that you can see that you can be as specific as possible or you can just add little notes. You could put dimensions. You're gonna talk about dimensions and then after the dimensions, you're gonna talk about the background of the template. And then you're gonna talk about the colors or how to choose a background and so on and so forth. But now you get the idea. Now we're gonna leave that as that. You're gonna add the next section. I'm gonna click on next. And now here, okay, this is gonna be your third lesson. And in this lesson, let's say we're gonna talk about in, let me write in the script. In this lesson, you will learn how to design your books book cover. So as you can see, you can continue to do this over and over and over again so that you know exactly what you're doing every single time you're recording a video. And you can do this even for YouTube. If you're planning to create a YouTube channel and you want to break down the first five videos that you want to create or just a one video and maybe you want to divide it into sections where let's say, for example, in the first section, you're going to talk about how to create your account on Amazon KDP. And then you record that, you stop it, you save it. Then you record the next part of that video. And what's going to happen is the following. And as you use ScreenPal and you start developing that storyboard, you're going to realize that recording a video or different lessons for an online course is going to be so much more easier. And you're going to create something called momentum. When I started applying this process to the way that I create videos, it just simplified the whole thing. I no longer felt this sensation of overwhelm, like, oh my God, what am I going to record? What am I going to say? And there's more. You can use ChatGPT to develop those scripts that you can just copy and paste onto ScreenPal and your storyboard so that you know exactly what you're going to say, in, in even in greater detail. And it just removes this whole idea of, yeah, let me click record and I have zero clue of what I'm going to say. And then this is what starts happening. When you have a plan of how you're going to execute a video or lessons for a course, you are eliminating any excuses of why you can't record your videos. You're going to realize that at the end of the week, you have you just you created an entire course or you created videos for your YouTube channel. You just moved yourself from being the person that dreams to being the kind of person that executes. I hope this information was helpful. Go ahead and click on the link below and click on screen pal. Check it out. And I'm 100% positive that it can change the way that you approach content creation, whether it's for YouTube or online courses. If this was helpful, go ahead and subscribe. Let me know on the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And I will see you on the next video.